well uh, so friends in this particular video we will see the uh, variable frequency codes how to write in the arduino and how to perform those this also known uh, to be the pwm pulse width modulation right so this is the tinkercad home page okay and uh, uh, already i have so uh, one video regarding how to get into the tinkercad so you can refer my video and uh, here what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new design for me so i'll uh, click on the create go to the circuit okay so it will now what i'll do uh, I'm, I'm using one uh, led which uh, will be uh, turn on uh, step by step like it will its intensity will change over there okay the light intensity of the led I will change uh, over here so this is nothing but I am changing the frequency and also known to be the pulse width modulation so here what I need to have obviously I need one Arduino board and one LED only okay so fine I am selecting one Arduino over here so these are the components you can search the component from over here also so I am selecting the Arduino dragging over here fine uh, then I will select one LED I will drag over here fine and obviously I need one uh, resistor also I will drag those fine now whenever you are having the PWM type of uh, operations or let's say frequency variation type of operations uh, don't forget to use the PWM pins on the Arduino so the PWM pins on the Arduino there are total six pins on the uh, Arduino which are the PWM pins and which are those to identify the PWM pins you just refer the pin number 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11 so here you can see there is one wave symbol is shown in front of those numbers okay so wherever you will find this particular wave symbol that uh, pin is nothing but the PWM pin so if you compare 3 and 4 there is no wave symbol in front of the 4 so this is not the PWM pin okay all those are the digital pins only however this pin number 3 5 6 9 10 11 are the pwm pins fine so what i'm doing i'm using the pin number 6 i'm connecting the pin number 6 to the led anode so this is the anode okay so what i'm doing i'm using i'm just uh, getting the wire from this point to the terminal led terminal okay i'll just make it perfect fine now this is the green color i want to have the red color for the supply let's say so i am selecting the red then output of the register i will obviously supply to the led okay i will give to the led i just move led over here fine so it will look better for me then i will uh, connect the cathode of led to the ground fine so okay i will get the particular line connect it to the ground later on you can make it perfect fine now i want to change the color of this particular uh, ground line let's say with the black color fine so this is my circuit ready okay this is the simple circuit the only thing is i am using pwm pin only so i am using the pin number six now what i will do i will write the code okay so to write the code you just click on this code okay click on the code instead of block you select the text okay continue this part uh, so this is the by default code it will give all, uh, always just uh, erase this and erase this also fine okay so what here i want to write in the setup you know for the, this is the one time uh, program which is to be run so i am setting the pin mode over here so my in my case the pin mode uh, is nothing but the pin is nothing but the pin number six and that pin is used to be the output pin because I supposed to get the output at the pin number 6 okay terminate this with the semicolon okay so this is the only thing I supposed to initiate with or set up with okay then I'll go to the actual code which is to be repeated again and again now here uh, the signals are the analog signals because this is nothing but the frequency variation in case of digital we are having only two signals 0 and 1 whereas in analog, analog we can have the variation okay so whenever you have the application like uh, there is a variation in the uh, frequency so there you can go with the analog signals fine 
and uh, I want to have the output from the pin number 6 so obviously I'll use the write okay uh, I am writing the signal so I'll be using the write command right so the command will be something analog analog write fine and then I'll give the pin number that is pin number 6 comma now here whenever I'm using the analog I will not use high or low okay and I want to change the intensity of the LED so I'll be using the duty cycle of the LED so what is my requirement now initially the LED will be off and it when when the supply will start it will just slowly slowly uh, will go on increasing its intensity fine so initially I want to have this particular LED off so I'm using 6 comma 0 where 0 is nothing but the duty cycle where 0 is nothing but the duty cycle fine you give the semicolon okay so I just want to observe the change in this particular LED uh, the intensity change and for that I am putting the delay in between okay otherwise you won't understand the uh, change in the intensity I am putting the delay of let's say one second okay okay now this command only I am going to repeat again and again so I will just copy this copy and I will go for the value paste fine now uh, this is the 0% uh, duty cycle now let's say I want to have the 25% of the duty cycle so whenever you are supposed to get the 25% of the duty cycle you first should know what is the 100% duty cycle will be uh, in analog signal uh, in the decimal values the 100% duty cycle will be is equivalent to 255 okay 255 stands for all the bits of 8 byte data will be having value 1 so when you convert this binary to decimal you will get the answer is equal to 255 okay so now I will be doing the percentage with respect to the 255 so if you go for the 25 percent of the 255 it comes around to be 64 okay so what I am doing I am just using this particular duty cycle as 64 I am using the duty cycle as 64 again I will put the same delay I will go for the next this is the 64 which is the 20 percent I will go for the 50 percent now so 50 percent intensity will be around 127 okay then you can change as per your requirement if you want you can change those percentage that's not the issue again I will change now uh, I want to have let's say 75 percent so let's say it is about 191 and uh, then uh, I want to have the 100 percent intensity of light so I'll be using 255 let's say 255 fine that's it this is what my code is for the uh, PWM okay to have the uh, frequency variation okay uh, that's it now what are you supposed to do I just hide this particular command and just click on the start simulation okay and you observe the change over here see now 0 25 50 75 okay the intensity will go on increasing fine uh, you can see what I will do I will change the value of register so that you can observe the change over here just stop the simulation uh, yeah this is one kilo ohm that's why the you are not going to get the change over there I'm changing this value to 200 ohm and now I will again simulate it fine now you might yes you can see the changes 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. Okay, that is how the intensity of light will go on changing. Okay, you can uh, have the reverse. Initially, you can set to 255, then 191, and so on. You can go on reducing. That is also possible. Just change the code, and you can get the things. Fine. Right? So this is what the PWM. Uh, or the frequency variation type of application with the Arduino and LED. Fine. Thank you.